I want to show you all something about a, uh, a 4L60E transmission. I have the cooler lines here, or part of them, the part that goes into the transmission. Here is a fitting here, and these are 3 8 line, and these these, this fitting screws into the transmission case. Okay, you have two of them. You screw in. Well, the type of lines that they have are shaped this way. And you see it has a ridge here. Make sure. This little ridge that's right here. Well, this pushes inside this fitting. Pushes inside. And what keeps it from coming out is there's a clip here. This clip goes in, goes down in there, and it goes around this ridge like that. But the way it goes, okay, you push this fitting in and you it's hard to see because it's kind of rusted, but there's a part here, after you push it in, you put this clip in. Push it in and it goes in and goes again around this, this ridge. Well, I had a problem one time where I rebuilt a, a transmission, a 4L60E. Customer took the transmission and the line popped out. It popped out of the fitting. So, fluid was going all over the place. Had it towed back. We pushed the line back in, put a brand new clip inside, which we had done that already, but put a brand new clip inside, tried to pull it out, it didn't come out, let the customer take the car, they drove it, the line blew out again. Well, by this time, it had messed up the transmission and there was a whirling sound. First time I've heard that, but it was coming from the torque converter. Thought it was the differential, the front differential, took that apart. It was bad, so we ended up fixing <laughs> the chip teeth and the differential, but it wasn't the problem. The problem was the torque converter had ran low so it had messed up the bearings inside the torque converter. So I had to replace the torque converter. Well, what I end up doing is changing the fittings. Now Fitzall has a fitting here. And it's for replacing the cooler line. And you see the part number right up here with fits all. Well, it's a thread type. It's not a push-in type. See, it has threads here. And what you do, you take ordinary 3 8 inch brake line and you screw them in the old fashioned way, okay? Now when you screw it in, it'll never pop out, okay? So if you use these, you have to get 3 8 brake line, and then you cut them here, and then you tie in, you, you, you cut them about the same size that these are cut here, and then you use compression fittings. You, you put a compression fitting on here, and a, a compression fitting on the existing line, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna cut this off, okay? Put that compression fitting on. So what you will end up having is this line right here. Then you never have to worry about this actually breaking out or blowing out and causing the problem again. So this is what I use now because I've had that problem. Now the only other way to fix that situation is to buy a new line because this ridge around here wears out. And I don't care if you put a new clip in there, it will not hold it. And when that pressure gets to 
uh, pushing that line back, it's going to slip out. Slip out. You know, just slip right, right past the fit, right past that clip. Um, I don't like this design. It's a cheap design. That's why they made it. But it pushes in like that. That's how it will push in, and then you can't pull it out. And you see the contact points that this has on here. It's contacting here, contacting here. Where can you see that? Yeah. Contacting here, here, and here. Okay, I don't like that. Give me this that screws right in. Okay, you never have any problem. Then you screw you screw these fittings right into the transmission. There's two of them, and then you don't have to worry about it breaking, uh, busting out. It may come out of the the radiator. But that's another thing, another problem there. But in, as far as the transmission, fits all. They go back the old school way, and you screw them in. And here's the part number, 31284G, fits all repair. You put that in, never have a problem with the uh, cooler lines blowing out again. Okay. Here are the lines set up. This is the old line, the old line right here. These are the new lines that's cut and set to be connected to the old line. And this compression fitting is way stronger than this uh, clip holding at three different points on this flange. So we're going to screw this to the transmission and connect these two to the existing lines. These are the lines screwed into the uh, transmission, the 4060E, um, while it's on the vehicle. And I don't know if you can see the fittings, compression fittings. Let me get you to see. Right there. So, see how they're tied in to the existing lines right there. Okay, and they go right into the transmission. <clears throat> Where are they? Show yourselves. Right there. So now, with that set up, you never have to worry about them ever blowing out of that transmission case. Ever. Uh oh. Yep. Never have to ever worry about them blowing out or having to come back because of them blowing out. Remember, fits all. Screw in fittings, they're going back the old way. <laughs>